Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and this is your preview to Manchester United versus Nottingham Forest in the Premier League. Kickoff time in the UK, 8 pm, live on Amazon Prime Video. Because this time of year, Amazon Prime show a lot of Premier League football. Super excited. First game in the Premier League since. It went on its World Cup break. So this is the lineup I'll go in. In goal, Duncan De Gea. Right back, now he should be back, Diego Delo. Centre backs, Lissandro Martinez. And he's a high ball. Maybe not though, but we'll wait and see. Then, Horan, left back. Well, Usually, League Show plays, but he hasn't always seen in the team. So, more than likely, Mauricio plays left back. And then, central defence in field, Casemiro, and he's not capable. Then, it'd be Scott McTominay. Then, in the midfield, Christian Eriksen, Bruno Fernandes, Ganacho. Rashford and Marshall. Yes, that's the lineup I'll go with. Now, very much looking forward to this game. You know, the Premier League. I really missed the Premier League since it's been on its World Cup break. You just cannot beat the Premier League, man. It's an outstanding league. I love it so much because it's so unpredictable. I mean, at Old Trafford against Forest. You feel Manchester United should win, but you never know in football, honestly. That's what I love about football. But hopefully Manchester United can win and we can carry on where we left off because before the international break, we were on the decent run for Manchester United. Obviously, Forest, they got promoted to the Premier League this year. And literally, they had to buy a whole new team because they had loads of players on loan in the championship last season. So, yeah, Steve Cooper, he's doing a decent job. But he recently signed a new contract with Nottingham Forest. Jaden Sancho, I'd love to know what is going on with Jaden Sancho, really, because there's so many rumours about Sancho at the moment. There's rumours that... Him and Ten Hag don't get along well. And also, there's rumours he could go out on loan as well. So many different rumours. Aaron wan he plays in a few them friendlies. And also, the League Cup game last week, he was very good. But if Diego Delo's in the lineup, obviously, I can see Aaron wan Basaka leaving Manchester United and potentially going back to Crystal Palace, because they reckon Crystal Palace are interested resigning Aaron wan -Bissaka. I do like Aaron... One thing I do like about wan though, he's good at crossing the ball. When Dalo, I used to kill with Dalo, he was good at tackling, but not very good at crossing the ball, but he has improved it's so much, Dalo. And it's no surprise he plays all the time now, Diego Delo. He's seen absolutely superb and so fair plays in the lad. And obviously, this is the first Premier League game back life after Cristiano Ronaldo. We already played one game without him and we did really well. So hopefully, we can do it again. I mean, obviously, Ronaldo, like I said, forever my favourite player, and that's never going to change. But we'll survive without him again. Manchester United, you know, Rashford is in absolutely outstanding form. I mean, that solo goal he scored in the League Cup last week was absolutely top of draw. Last season, there's no way he would have done that. This season, he's just... Like, literally firing in confidence so much. It's outstanding to see. It really is. And long may it continue as well. Keep on the good work, Marcus Rashford. Comment your thoughts down below. I will always reply. And join me tomorrow for the match review. A Manchester United versus Nottingham Forest in the Premier League. Bye-bye.